Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Bitchy Witchies, and today this is Mountain Gypsy with a new video. But first, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you can get notifications when we have new videos dropping and episodes of our podcast. Also, don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms to see what's coming up for you guys from all of us at the Bitchy Witchies. It's Gypsy here, and I have another awesome video for you. So, these days, there's so many different spell workings out there with candles and herbs and this and that for cord cutting. Fun fact, you do not need tools, period, except for yourself, for cord cutting. We are going to discuss a cord cutting um, meditation. Because this is involving you and your connection, your energy connections to someone or something or a situation. Therefore, this needs to be a mental focus. So, we're going to discuss that. But first, there's a few things you need to do prior to this meditation. They are basic, mundane things. So, before you get started on the cord cutting meditation, you're going to want to do Basic things like deleting that person's phone number from your phone, deleting their email, unfollowing them, um, blocking them, all that stuff. You need to do that because even if you are doing a spell work with candles and tools, you need to do that anyways. It's not like you are not supposed to or you can't. It's part of cutting ties to someone. So. After you're done with all that, you're going to want to go to a spot or a space that's quiet for yourself. This is something you should be doing when there's nobody around or in the house so you can focus 100% on this um, meditation. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to center yourself and get grounded. You need to be centered, focused, and grounded for this. So tool-wise, if you want, you can set up some incense, some meditation music, whatever. That's all you need. So once you get into that meditative state, you're going to want to focus and picture yourself on a bridge. You're at one end. The person or the situation is at the other end, okay? Pretend there is a rope of energy between you and that person on the bridge. Once you see the light, whatever color energy you see between you two, focus on that. And then you're going to want to focus on a flame right in the middle of the bridge under that, that rope. Okay. Focus on that flame under the rope getting larger and larger, starting to come up and touch and hit that rope, okay? Once the flames are large enough and you start seeing the separation of the rope being burned apart, once that, burn power, that rope is burnt apart, there's no more connection. The energy, the glow on that rope is gone. The rope has disappeared. There's nothing tying you together. Once you focus on that and that is gone, picture the person slowly or the situation slowly disappearing out of your view, out of your vision. Once that person has disappeared from the other side, you need to slowly focus and say to yourself, this connection is now done. This connection is now cut. This connection is no longer in my life. So, it's a basic, simple cord cutting meditation because there's too many spells out there, too many different workings, but you don't need it, especially for situations like that. But you also have to do the first parts, the mundane parts, 
you must cut ties from social media, cell phone, email, all that. And don't make it a point to be around anybody or any places associated with the person prior to this either <clears throat> or after. So because your focus is to cut ties with this person. So I hope that was easy for you guys and simple. Peace out. Don't forget about our book series. We have 101 oil blends for your spells and rituals, 101 divination methods. Also, we have 101 herbs for your magic practice. And then we also have 101 tips for the new witch. They're all available on Amazon.com for you to purchase.